हरे कृष्णा यूज इंट्रोस्पेक्शन एज अ कॉन्फेशन बाय द सेल्फ टू द सेल्फ कॉन्फेशन इज अ प्रैक्टिस इन सर्टन रिलीजियस ट्रेडिशंस वेर सम पीपल वेर पीपल एडमिट और कॉन्फेस द रॉन्ग्स दैट दे हैव डन एंड दिस एक्स एज अ बोथ अ डिटेरेंट from doing future wrongs because it's embarrassing to confess what wrongs we have done and it's also uh rectifying because other person may speak some words of instruction it could be encouragement or chastisement which may help us to reform and we all have a mind within us which keeps making us go on off track and of course it's not just the mind within there is the world without also which is filled with temptations and the mind within which is filled with impressions so uh, we all tend to go off track and of course the particular practice of confession has fallen into disrepute to some extent because people uh, have been exploited by that and those who receive confessions have sometimes abused the privileges which they had so but still people uh, we all need course correction and uh, for that because also today society is more isolated people value their privacy more people may not have other trustworthy people with whom to whom they can confess their wrongs uh, so so we can see course correction that was the purpose or was one purpose of confession through periodic introspection so introspection literally means specta comes from the word spectacles which is a spectacle something worth seeing so see and intro means within so to see within so we can have regular time for ourselves by in which we examine ourselves we look at ourselves we report to ourselves so okay this situation so every day or every week if we take some time out to do introspection and what do we do at that time introspection can have many aspects but one could be confession so we confess to ourselves at that time oh this person spoke like this and i snapped at them that was improper that time that temptation came and i just succumbed to it it would have been better if i had uh, if i had uh, restrained myself so when we do like this at at least we are confronting our wrong doings ourselves so during introspection we can conceptually split ourselves into a confessor and a confessed into an observer who is the receiving the confession and the observed who is giving the confession and as we can we can counsel ourselves correct ourselves and this way by periodic course correction we can elevate ourselves the bhagavad gita points to this dynamic of two selves within us when it urges us in 6.5 uddhare datmana atmanam natmanam avsadayet आत्मै वय आत्मनो बंधुर आत्मै व रिपुरात्मन सिस एलिवेट योर सेल्फ विद द सेल्फ टू नॉट डिग्रेड योर सेल्फ विद द सेल्फ फॉर द सेल्फ इज द फ्रेंड ऑफ द एनिमी सेल्फ इज द फ्रेंड ऑफ द सेल्फ एंड द सेल्फ इज आल्सो द एनिमी ऑफ द सेल्फ हियर ऑफ कोर्स द सेल्फ रेफर्स टू द माइंड व्हिच कैन बी आवर एनिमी एंड व्हिच कैन आल्सो बी आवर फ्रेंड सो इफ वी लर्न टू see introspection as a confession by the self to self then even in today's uh, relatively alienated social culture we can have at least some course correction a self examination course correction which can ensure that we don't go off track and we stay true to our values and move towards our purposes thank you hare krishna